We are going to begin the first chapter of class 12 mathematics. The name of the topic is relations. Now in everyday life we have family relations, we have father and son relations, we have student teacher relation, we have brother and sister relation. Now in mathematics also we have some kind of relations like uh, less than, that is 5 is less than 6 or uh, 4 is the square root of 16. So we have these kind of relations. So uh, relations in life are like father and son, brother and sister, relation mathematics. 5 is less than 6, 4 is the square of 2. So we have these kind of relations in mathematics, but they come from what is called ordered pairs. Now, ordered pairs is basically a pair of objects taken in a specific order. So just remember that it is a pair of objects taken in a specific order. So it is shown like this, A comma B in bracket. So you have, you put numbers, it is 3 comma 9, which is inside the bracket that is there. Now, for two ordered pairs to be equal, for example, if A comma B has to be equal to C comma D, this is possible if and only if A is equal to C and B is equal to D. Now you must remember one thing. The first element is called the first component and the second element is called the second component. So in an ordered pair, the first element is called the first component and the second element is called the second component. So if you have two ordered pairs, then they are equal if and only if the first components are equal and the second components are equal. Now where do we get these ordered pairs from? We basically get these ordered pairs when we have a Cartesian product of two non-empty sets. So if you have two non-empty sets A and B, then the Cartesian product is represented by A cross B. This cross is uh, to be pronounced as cross, not A into B or not A multiplied by B, but A cross B. So A cross B is equal to A comma B for all elements A which belongs to the set A and for all elements B which belongs to set B. Now you can take this concrete example to understand what it means. Now if you have A is equal to 1, 2, 3, this is the set A containing elements 1, 2, 3 and B is the set containing elements 4 and 5, then A cross B is equal to 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5. They put in brackets. Take a look. 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5, 3 comma 4, and 3 comma 5. So this is the, the set comprising of the Cartesian product of A cross B. Now, one very interesting thing that you must know is the number of elements of a cross B will be equal to the number of elements of set A into, this is not cross, this is into the number of elements of set B. Now, if you take a look, if in this particular case, set A has got three elements and set B has got two elements, which is equal to six. Now, you can check whether this is true. When we did A cross B, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you see the number of elements of A cross B is 6, which is got from N of the number of elements of set B into the number of elements of set B. This is how we begin. You wait for my next video, which will continue with relations. Thank you.